Hey there, Bipti here. Welcome to another short tutorial about logic in my industry version 6. This time I would like to show you a better way to generate random numbers. I made a video about it the last time. The approach I proposed was to take the time in milliseconds and like to do modular stuff on it. There's a better way. Thank you, Burr. <laughs> you are very, very appreciated for pointing out that there's a better way to generate random numbers. Let's go about it, shall we? I'm going to create a microprocessor here, a message just to make sure we can display something. And the magic is in the operation. I thought operation was limited to like doing something with two numbers, but thanks to Burr, here is the thing. You have such a selection of cool stuff. Like there is noise, for example, and there's rand. And I think the rand one is a way better way to generate random numbers. Namely, you just tell it, you know, I want something up to 500. I see you, Burr. <laughs> and then you get a completely random number. And all that's left is to use the number. So you don't need to do to use two lines instead of one. You just say, you know, I want a random number. And you're getting the random number. It's even a decimal number. I didn't know this one. I didn't know this one. If you want the random number generated this way to be... Uh, well, let's do this. Let's, let's make, a, make it a floor. Like this is going to round it down consistently. If you want to round it up, this is a seal. There it is. And I don't know. Oh, there's, there's no round thing, right? Well, anyway, floor or seal, either like round it down or round it up. So now this it should be just a number without any dots afterwards. All right. So don't forget the uh, operation thing can do more than ju just combine two numbers and do arithmetics. And this is a really nice way to generate random numbers. I hope you learned something. I sure did. Thanks again, Mr. Burr. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.